Today, guys, I'm incognito because we're about to go in the Marseille away end for their match against Brighton. The winner goes first, and first you skip around and have a much better chance of winning the whole Europa League. Let's check out the city. And these are not just any old away fans. They're from the south of France. They're known to be the best in their whole country. And tonight, they're in England, and we're going to appreciate them. I've been to their stadium twice in the velodrome. <laughs> Look at it, there and there. Madness. <laughs> Still kicking off. Right, we've got two Marseille fans here, Dad and Lad. Now, where are you guys from, actually? So tell me, how good is the atmosphere? Because we're going to be experiencing it today. Really? Marseille number one? Yeah, number one. It's going to be a good atmosphere. Uh, we've been lucky in London, like we have our own fan group in, in, in the UK. Last year we went to Tottenham away. Of course. And this year we're going here again. Yeah, it's not like in the middle of the world, you've got a lot of questions in Craziness, you're going to yeah. see. Yeah. I don't know if you see last year in Tottenham, it's going to be like mad. The preparation here is real. Police everywhere. They know when Marseille come. It's serious. It's gone fired up. Come on. <laughs> Less than an hour till kickoff. We are with the Marseille fans. They're in front of us getting ready to kick off. One of these teams could win the Europa League for sure, guaranteed. So it's a big game. Let's go. All the fans have filled it out already. Everyone's ready. Every single player that gets read out. Very strong team for Brighton. Billy Gilmore, Adingra, Gross, Wananote, Joe Pedro. They've got like five attacking midfielders. Abamyang, Harrit, Matinia to do the damage for Marseille. Unahi, Dima Magreb, Unahi. If he scores today, I'm on the pitch. Yeah, and Malik Aubameyang, two goals in his final game. He's now scored, what's that? Five, seven goals in four matches. Watch out. Look, we've got this one in Marseille. Ten minutes till kick-off. The away end is filling up. All the Marseille fans are
Charles Petro with the overhead kick. in the next round of the Europa League. Let's see if they can hold on. It's a great result for them. That's never a free kick. Shocking decision now. 70 a good chance for Brighton for the free kick. Getting tasty on the field now. Too late. Too late. Too late. 11 minutes left. Brian really pushing for that goal to go top. Ferguson, over. Great chance, Brian. Here we go. Oh, no. Brighton have scored. They're celebrating. I <laughs> think set up well. They've just scored. We can't see the pitch. The timing on that. One of the last minutes in the game. Now Brighton is setting off Pyro. Well. That, is, that is a real gutting moment. They're both going through anyway, it's just a battle for first to second. 
and it looks like Brian have found a way. Now he's kicking off on the field. They're playing slow. But you can't even see the ball on the field right now. Karo Matome is running through. This is madness. There's the goal scorer. That is the full time whistle. Right in one Marseille nail, right at the dead. Cracking atmosphere from start to finish. And all three points in the end go to the English side. Even through loss, Aubameyang leads the team over. Marseille fans clap. Not the result they wanted, but still sends it through. I don't know what's going on there, but I feel like the team, the team are coming together with the fans. The Marseille fans are still dancing because they're through as well. On to the knockouts for both teams.